gentlemen, welcome back to the episode of Last of the Hunter Survival. Today we return, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, and boom, go ahead, take a look at this. This is something beautiful that you guys are witnessing. This is the hub, something that was revealed earlier today with the caption. Hello, everyone. We offer to you a look into the crystal ball and see what's under development at the moment, but it is to be brought to your attention much later. Behold one of the early outlines of the hub. The hub, name on confirmed for now will be the place for players optional leisure various activities and entertainments after all it's not just about the forest and what we are seeing here is the hub our very first look at what will be the town type location base like structure like it's got walls all around like this is going to be a settlement within last day on earth most likely filled to the brim and spread out with different types of like ai different types of npcs potentially there's a chance that it will be multiplayer but like from a lot of what we're seeing we're seeing like those crash planes just like kind of like the color of the ground and stuff like they would have to be in sector 7 for this to be a multiplayer zone and at least from what we've seen out of multiplayer so far that is going to be requiring power armor or to some degree you're going to need to be underground and this looks like relatively untouched compared to what we have seen past sector 7 which is very brutal much more of a wasteland than normal so this hub might very well be that kind of like single player type location kind of similar if you guys have been playing or seen any of my westland survival videos uh there is actually this location called saloon city i think this might be playing a similar role where it will be filled to the brim with those npcs and things like that and boom go ahead and cop a peek at this which was a little bit of clarification from cloud regarding this bad boy saying you know all the mechanics that we always wanted to make but they had no place in the game it will go there some random fun stuff like you know maybe betting on zombies fighting each other for example i guess you'll have more details next thursday or so with pictures so i don't want to spoil this stuff so make sure you guys are staying tuned next thursday we're gonna have some beautiful things to go ahead and continue talking about with this bad boy but in the meantime you can see that there's just like a variety of different things scattered throughout here they have like all these like walkways and what not that like I, I wonder if that like area on the right might be like that arena because i'm seeing like a couple of those like crates maybe the zombies will be within those like red crates so they're like open they fight each other while people stand on those like elevated areas and watch them fight to the death for example like there's just so much coolness that could be going on with the hub and i am so excited to see what this bad boy brings because this is gonna be so unique and so awesome and on top of it all it said that it's where they want to put all the stuff that hasn't necessarily had a place in the game so far you know what that reminds me of that random location in jurassic survival mad dogs arena it doesn't really play a role in the game besides having some fun and hopping into some battle royale and well we have seen where last day on earth and other types of mobile survival games like jurassic survival uh grim soul survival westland survival they will at times have crossover with features since a lot of them are based off of the same game engine so given the fact that they kind of like cloud did mention it's where they want all the stuff that didn't necessarily have a place in the game quite yet uh, i think that might be a very good candidate for being where we could have some uh, maybe battle royale shenanigans going on maybe like they'll send you like to an arena outside of the camp or something like whatever it is though this camp is looking awesome it looks, it looks like it's gonna have a couple of distinct areas what appears to be the doorway to get in through that like kind of like crashed airplane in the back and then also that kind of like gate in the lower left hand corner a couple of watchtowers surrounding the place that central building with like even like a garage with a car i wonder if maybe there'll be like a leader of the camp we might be able to talk to over there or something like that but then it looks like there's a couple of distinct areas scattered throughout maybe some will have like more trading more stuff like that if you look at that bottom right area it's kind of hard to tell but it looks like there might be motorcycles actually uh scattered throughout kind of like by those rvs it's kind of hard to tell but you can see those kind of like those things that look like they have like two wheels in that like bottom area those might very well be choppers so like i think this is going to be a settlement we're going to be seeing other npcs it's just going to be awesome to see how we can interact with all these people and whatnot but i definitely want to bring this to your guys attention give you all the details i could behind it and of course bring up the fact this could be where we do see something like that but like they said it's gonna be we're gonna be able to do stuff like betting on zombies battling maybe some more extensive trading and there's just so much potential with this but whatever it is i cannot wait to go ahead dive into this and see what it contains but uh, go ahead and let me know what you guys think about this bad boy in that comment section down below
below with that be you guys' own thoughts you guys' thoughts on my thoughts any of that type of jazz and reminder that comments can put you one third of the way into the weird twelve dollar and do such place store gift card giveaway all you gotta do as well as make sure to like button make sure to subscribe that will ensure you went on today's video it'll go to enter in on every single last day on earth video one saturday rolls around we'll pick a random video for the past week pick a random comment from that random video and that's we will up for the week and we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same saturday as also make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest of last day on earth information like that which we are sharing today not to mention as soon as some of that stuff that we're talking about of course all those new updates adding in new things comes out we're gonna be dropping up date gameplays on all that jazz showing off anything and everything that they have to offer and then uh just enjoying it man because the hub that's gonna be an enjoyable place this is probably my most anticipated for location moving forward at this point i need to see what it brings and also if you guys are wondering what we're doing we got a big boy raid in store bless up we got three c4 i was doing a little bit of research on this base this base could be the jackpots this could be the base best raid we've had in months if all goes well and it is known by the name of Sithorns. so we're gonna go say hello to Sithorns with our arsenal of hatchets and c4 and uh you know just say guten tag just try to be a happy old camper like that but yeah make sure you guys are staying tuned with that notification bell for all that latest info for all the latest update gameplays you check out anything and everything that is coming in the updates and of course it's a great way to stay up to date with every single video y'all can enter it on for that weekly giveaway and checking out all the other dope style games we're checking out on the channel such as that super extensive fallout 76 series we're starting right now that's shaping up to be one of the best survival games of the year so there's just it's a great time to be a fan of survival if y'all like last day on earth i'm guessing y'all might like survival so i'll uh, go ahead and uh cop a peek at it but anyways i just want to cop a peek at that dang hub dude that thing is looking so freaking hype and like i'd love to hear like what do you think we might be able to do with the hub i think that's the big question we gotta ask today like like they did bring up like being able to like bet on zombies do that type of stuff and that makes me wonder like what are some other like fun like leads your like side activities we might be able to do like obviously battle royale is like the one big thing that pops into my head also this is where we want to go ahead and uh, put some c4 i just want to go ahead and do a little bit of a run around there but that is a little bit of a weak point in this guy's base and bless up for that because his base appears to be actually a double layered stone wall entirely on the outside so if we could go ahead and only break through one of those stone walls that's going to be awesome to save up some much needed c4 and get some very good goods and for real when you guys see the hall we might be able to get out of this oh nilly i, I don't know man I, I we haven't had a raid potentially like this in a while so let's go ahead toss down that c4 without further ado a bada bing bada boom and entered we have and then if we go ahead and look around these walls we can see it's a variety of level one walls i do think we may have seen an explosive sign no we can actually chop through all of these so i believe the one that we're going to want to chop to for maximum effect is going to be one two three four five one two three four five I, I think it's this one over here uh which i want to make sure that we're chopping through the proper one here so okay let's go right there if we chop through this one and then we should be able to make our way throughout and it should reveal the contents of this lad's rather complicated base and this right here is where the goods will be found and there are some enemies running our way we'll go ahead and deal with them dispatch them rather properly so uh get on over here y'all bub i got a little thing known as shotgun rain some stay dry and others feel the pain shotgun rain oh my god dude i just like shot that dude up against the wall he took a audition oh man i don't know man this is just this is the hypest i've been in a while man getting a look at that hub Ooh, double critical to take you out mr blow it up but that hub man that is just ah uh, just some details about it what we know so far the fact you're gonna be able to do fun stuff like that over there i'm guessing we might be able to get quests and stuff too from there that would make a lot of sense for that to be like a lot of npcs over there that we could go ahead and get such quests from I don't know it makes a lot of sense like i'm saying let me know what you guys think regarding some of those i'm definitely curious to hear and as you guys can see it just kind of wanted to show off the base a little bit it is going to be that double uh stone layer because you guys can see there's a stone wall here stone wall on the outside so if you want to break into this guy's base use that weak point that will save you a c4 and you want to save a c4 because this bad boy oh he's got some good stuff in store for him but all right, uh, why don't we go ahead and grab that C4 really quickly. There we go. Let's just go. I, as much as I, I'd love to grab both right now and just save our booty for the future. But I, you guys, you guys got to know 
It's a dangerous game. I've, I've accidentally used those things before on the wrong walls, and it is a nightmare. So we're going to play it safe. We're going to grab it one at a time, and then we are going to uh, make our way into there. Although there is a side room I'd rather break into first. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it should actually be this wall right over here. It should bring us some uh, goody good goods, and I like the goody good goods, yeah? And hello? We got some chests here, but the chest that we should be paying attention to is going to be this bad boy right here. And Avita saying, Merry Christmas into all a good night already. Five pistols being added to our haul of loot. And guess what? That is just the beginning. Next up, there's actually, I think, another side room we might want to go ahead and try to break our way into. And that side room is going to be coming in the form of... I believe we want to break through... I think it's this doorway right here. And this should take us to like a cool little side room. That should have some nifty old features for us. So let's go ahead and continue chopping on down. Ooh, he's got a refining forge there. But this chest down here should actually have some uh, pretty nice presents in store for us. So let's go ahead and see that before we got to fight off all these hordes. And let's freaking go. We're getting steel. We're getting copper. We're getting aluminum. We're getting it all, boys. I wasn't kidding when I said this was about to be the jackpot. No floppy disks to my knowledge, but there's still going to be some pretty nice things. Like shotgun rain some abominations die and others feel the pain shotgun rain okay we got to go ahead and take out these fast biters first and foremost we got an angry crowd of these dudes that i want to go ahead and make sure to say of vita sane too there we go let's take your schmuck butt out we got a couple more schmucks up on our tail let's go ahead and make sure to take some evasive maneuvers to avoid them and he has been taken down and nothing like a little bit of shotgun rain did take this dude out and why don't we go ahead ah we'll finish him off and send that head flying. That's a home run brought to you by the fan for fantastic barrel of shotgun rain. Alrighty though. And so we've gotten the good stuff. I'm kind of tempted to break into this because like all, like a lot of a lot of times you guys say, oh, it's on. You got to break into it. Not necessarily. Sometimes it looks like it's on, but it won't actually have anything good in it. But this this chest right here definitely has the goods. And as you guys are seeing, we got some goods. And I actually want to go ahead and uh, why don't we break into that next wall that I wanted to. And that wall is going to come in the form of this bad boy right here. Knock, knock. Who's there? It's Papa Star O'Clock. We got a couple of things in here. Nothing super crazy, but these three blocks right there those are where the goods are gonna be but we are already at 83 noise meaning that uh, eh, might get a little bit uh risque you know i'm just gonna go ahead and take him out with the pistol drizzle once he's at that much health that's probably the best maneuver a shotgun rain to you my dude shotgun rain to you my dude and oh I, i've gotten myself into a dead end oh no i played myself i played myself ah okay hold on we should be able to make sure this work and then i'll, I'll my, da, 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 da. we got so many dudes all right <laughs> Sorry about the cough, but the dudes are taken down. Dude, I don't know, man. Today, you know today's going to be a great day. When we get a raid like this, and you guys are going to see why I'm really hyping up this raid within those three rooms. When we get a raid like this, okay, then on top of that, we get something dope announced, like the hub, some info regarding that. Like, I'm just trying to brainstorm, like, what else there could be? There's just so many possibilities. It's like leisure time activities. Like, I wonder if they might add in, like, other mini games. I'm trying to think to, like, other... Oh, I'm going to eat all these carrots, by the way. I'm not trying to have that take up an inventory slot. No, no, no. No, today. Well, here's what we're going to do. Though. We got to grab that last C4. We got to put away some of these valuables. And nothing more valuable than them bad boys right there. Are the... Ah, do Raiders value plates or bars more? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I'll just I'll just do it this way and uh, well here's the loot that we got so far if you guys want to count up Ooh, and actually ah I might mm, here's what I'm gonna do I might get rid of those two little uh, gas barrels there but uh, here's the loot that we got that we're keeping so far those first two rows and it's about to get a whole lot better let me just say and the really nifty thing about this guy's base is that you can actually kite the big one quite a good amount because you guys know how uh, if there's like a one by one wall or not a one by one wall but if there's like a wall uh, kind of like this one, right? For example, like sometimes like if I hug this wall, sometimes the big one, he thinks he's on the, I'm on this side of the wall and it'll run around. So since this base is filled with so many such areas, you can really like play some mind games with the big one, which can, I don't know, man, it can honestly benefit you quite a little bit, but uh, I'm just trying to put away the last of our stuff that we got to go ahead and do. So let's do exactly that. I'm sorry, two bottles of gasoline, but the last today is not your day, comrades. 
Here we got these. I'm ready to ditch those if need be, which we are going to need to be ready to do. And we'll continue talking about the hub a little bit more uh, after this because this is where uh, we got to get ready to get her going, boys. This is where uh, the moment of truth happens. So I hope you guys are ready. It's uh, it's about to get naughty. We're looking good on all all status indicators. We got sprint activated. Let's uh, let's go ahead and break into the core of the good stuff and let's go ahead and get her going we got to break through all of these chests absolutely as soon as we can so hopefully that makes our lives a little bit easier down the line because the big one will be coming luckily it's a very complicated base he has to run through so bless up for that and let's go ahead and take that thank you thank you let's go ahead and take all of that thank you thank you and no 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 not the c4 oh uh, we got to go ahead i'm getting rid of these things beautiful beautiful oh no oh no nice 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 okay i kind of want to come back for one thing and check it out that's what i'm talking about that big one glitch right there will kind of like it'll, it'll come to the other side of the wall okay hold up we gotta take out this guy okay i know oh 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 that could have been bad could have been bad could have been bad okay hold on i'm just trying to uh, take out these guys over here oh no don't get me oh, oh no no oh no oh nice 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 the big one got bamboozled that's exactly what i needed we're gonna try to cut him around just a little bit more here we're gonna try to get him to come to the other side of the wall come on big one come on big one get to the other, other side of one of these walls there we go beautiful Got a little bit of separation there. Ah, I'm going to try to kite around a little bit more. I just want him to take a wrong turn somewhere so we can get some nice old separation. We just want to look and see if and when. Oh, there we go. Beautiful, beautiful. We want him to turn around. And then after he does that, we're going to want to get some separation. He's going that way. So we're going to go this way. This is the separation that... Nope, that's not the separation that we need. God dang it. Ah! Oh, nice, nice, nice. We got that going. Hold on. I'm going to take this opportunity. We're going to do that. There were a couple more guns I wanted to grab, too. Oh, uh, okay, so he's going north side now. Okay, let's get that separation. Let's get that separation. He continues coming that way. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Was that not the chest? Oh, was it the northern chest? It was the northern chest. Let's take a couple more of those. Nope, that's not what I meant to take. Okay, okay, there we have it, boys and girls. This raid executed marvelously. And uh, we got an inventory full of only great loot to bask in, so... Let's go ahead. Let's basket it, boys. Yes, man. That is seriously, I can't remember the last time we've had a raid with this many guns. 11 pistols, M16, AK-47, shotgun rain, VSS minigun, 16 copper ore, 19 aluminum bars, 5 aluminum plates, a katana, a scar on top of it all, and everything we got in the chopper. Yeah, today has been a good day to do a little thing known as a raid. So thank you, Sith Thorns. I appreciate your hospitality and uh, the greatest raid we've had in a long time. Woo! I'm gonna go ahead. We got to put this stuff away because there's a... Oh, you know what we got to do? <coughs> Sorry about the cough there. We need to bribe these guys over here. So there's a little nifty trick, supposedly. Apparently, these guys love trash. That's what people say. How much do you love trash? Not enough, apparently. Okay. Are you... Are you hold up. Hold up. Are you for reals? Hmm. Okay. I will give him a trash and a katana. I... Is that really all that you want, Raider? I'm not complaining. Take it. Take it. Take it! That is a steal of a deal. Oh my god. He's actually a dingus, and here we are. Oh my god, look at that haul that we have. That is... It, it cost us three C4. Bless up that we had three. And, uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna put this stuff away. I got a big old smile on my face. Today's been a good day. And with all of that jazz put away, let's go ahead and uh, call the Raiders back. We gotta be like, hey, yo, Raiders, uh, what is popping, my dude? So let's do exactly that. Start setting up the very next raid as we continue our daily raiding and continue getting y'all that code every single day. 75548 is the code at the time of me checking. If that's out of date by the time you're trying to put it in, make sure you share that comment section down below. Full note today version brought to you by the Fan Fantastic community here at the Sniper Gang. And uh, what would you guys like done for you today? All right, a couple of those things over there. That's another thing that the game really needs. They do need to update the Raider quest, but we have chalk out a C4. Definitely something I'm going to make sure to. Hopefully, we can work our way back up to 2C4 by tomorrow. That's what I'm be crossing my fingers for because I, I don't know. Raiding with 2C4 is at least decent, but I'm happy we had three today, man. Whew. 
Today was the perfect day to have three in store and about to go ahead and knock out a couple of other minor things in the meantime while we still have that adrenaline pumping and while we still have this ritual book over here where uh, there are a couple of things they would like from us. The cemetery hasn't spawned in today, so we'll actually go ahead and knock that out tomorrow, most likely, because I, I don't know, man, just it doesn't spawn in sometimes when I come in. I think, it, I think it only spawns every 24 hours, which is a little bit unfortunate because I've been trying to upload earlier because I, guys, I don't like uploading late. Just it usually happens because of school complications but so uh, we got a whole ton of grave uh, quests so honestly next time we get a prize from the cemetery we're gonna get a lot of stuff we gotta get some red coupons from there probably make a pit stop over to the uh what should we call the farm murder a couple bulls in cold blood and then uh i mean pumpkin field a couple of holiday zombies we'll probably do that while we're trying to get rewards and then kill some turrets down in bunker alpha so we got a uh, we got our work cut out for us boys and it's gonna be some darn good work in Listen, the destroyed convoy spawn is not every day that the destroyed convoy spawns in. We can actually acquire that little thing known as a severed finger. And in the spirit of Halloween, when we're collecting brains, eyeballs, and teeth, a finger just seems to fit. You know what I mean? And ooh, it appears that today it is the uh, zombie version of this event sometimes it is the raider version alas today it is the zombie version so we'll go ahead and clear it out and we'll definitely be using a little pistol here since we just stockpiled 11 of those bad boys in addition to all those other dope guns we got our hands it was a good day to raid let's leave it at that and hello Frodo blow the shotgun rain to you oh that's a little bit of a bummer i would that would have been really cool if uh what should we call it would have been awesome if the enemies in like events as well actually changed right now it appears that only enemies in uh the random locations will actually have the festive skins the dia de los muertos skins you know uh so that's a little bit unfortunate i thought that it might be maybe everywhere but it appears that kafir did not update the uh, event ones or anything like that let's go and see what we got here and just continue getting kind of some of those minor scraps but i'm not trying to leave them behind listen loot is loot especially at the military convoy i'm trying to get what i can and uh, near the end, we should be able to claim that finger that I was talking about. We only got a couple more zombies to go. And uh, what is this over here? That's a, ooh, it's a toxic vibration. Well, shout out to rain to you, my dude. I got plenty of that. Where that came from. Oh, nice. You a sumo wrestler? Well, I'm a pistol drizzler. And uh, you've been drizzled, son. Sit down. Be humble. Uh, oh, man, dude, there's way more zombies here. I kind of like the raider version of the event more. I'm not going to lie. They're kind of like, oh, okay. Shotgun rain. <laughs> I kind of like the Raider version of that more. Le, the Raider version of the event more. I'm not going to lie because, well, there's just less enemies. Shotgun rain. <laughs> to deal with than here. And I don't know. We also get some guns from them too. I mean, not some guns. We get one Winchester from the guy at the end. But still, a gun's a gun. Oh my God. That guy exploded into a million pieces. But yeah, a gun's a gun. I don't know, man. I'll take, I'll take whatever I can. I ain't picky. God dang it. Shotgun rain. Oh, hold on. Shotgun rain. There we go. Deal with him properly. I don't know. I ain't too picky. I ain't too picky. A gun's a gun. It lets you attack someone from range in the Winchester. I mean, uh, we're still trying to... I, I still have not gotten any blueprints for the Winchester. I'm scared to open up any more of these. I've already gone through... What is it? Uh, yeah. The Explo... No, not the Explorers pack. Is it the Equipment pack? Yeah. I've... Guys, you, get, you guys have seen. We opened like 30 of these and 30 of these. And there were no Winchester blueprints... So, I don't know if you can even get Winchester mods through these god dang things. Because, uh, I don't know. When we did it, we got zero out of, like, the hundreds of blueprints. Not a single one was a Winchester. I don't think that's really bad luck. At that point, I think it's, you literally cannot. And hello, Frenzy Giant. That's the thing I forgot about this version of the military convoy event. Sometimes you got this random old Frenzy Giant doing his thing. Well, I'll take you doing easy peasy there, lad. And shut the rain you to finish the job and maybe this is where the finger will be found no i thought it's like usually on a dead military guy and i'm not seeing that so oh there he is Woo! what is up finger how do you do <coughs> sorry about that cough there a little bit um um i'll get rid of a couple of things here a couple of things that are not as valuable as that military armor i'll definitely stockpile on that wish i could do i wish i could have some power armor i wish i could scrap that have some power armor outside of sector seven that'd be pretty freaking dope man that power armor our health skyrockets up to 200 when we put it to use you know that's a pretty solid thing to be skyrocketing to but let's go ahead and pour some gas up into that and toss some more in the tank and get to driving away but that hub man there's just with with the freaking hub that we were talking about just especially like that that building man that building is what's really catching my eye 
back from over there. I seriously think like someone's got to be a leader of the hub, right? And I think it would make sense for that leader to give you quests or something, probably to be able to live in the nicest area. They had like that little garage attached to it. They had all those like little side areas. Dude, I don't know. Maybe we'll, I, I think it's going to add in like more mini games other ways. Like I, I really hope that they do add in a battle royale because that would just makes so much sense. Like Jurassic Survival, you got a dog tag every single day. You could get more if you wanted to. It was a side activity. You got some rewards out of it, which kind of appears to be a theme with the hub since you're going to be able to like gamble on zombies. And I'm guessing maybe like get some items back, you know, maybe get some uh, get some coins back, depending on that. So I something like that, where it's kind of like an external activity that you can reap some rewards from. I, I think it just lines up very well, man. So the hub, that's going to be super cool. And I can't wait to see what comes out of it. But with that said, with that done, that's going to start wrapping up this episode of Last Day on Earth. So I thought you guys did enjoy today's raid, today's information. Definitely, it's probably one of my favorite Last Day on Earth videos in a hot minute. Just everything was going perfectly and i cannot wait to continue to see how things do unfold and i can't wait to see what y'all got to say in that comment section down below regarding the hub because there, there's gonna be a lot to say about that so i'm looking forward to it you and your creative minds with that said with that done that's gonna start wrapping up and for me and for now best of luck to you guys and gals in that weekly giveaway getting the chopper gas tank joining the chopper squadron breeding up your pup getting that true friend perk not to mention leveling up your own perks and skills best of luck and find the best blueprints that you can and building up the very best attachments for the very best guns and weapons that you do got best of luck building up your base going out on the dopest of raids like that which we did experience today getting past the multiplayer wall defeating all the bosses that the game has to throw at you, especially those Halloween ones. And most important of all, having yourselves an absolutely favorite fantastic time all throughout. But that's going to do it for me. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. Huh. This was an awesome one. And I'll talk to you next one. See ya.